All right, today we're gonna practice addition and how it helps with subtraction. We're gonna get started right away, so let's start by writing our name up at the top. My name is Miss Jackie. Everyone else, write your name, and you can pause if you need more time. Okay, so we're gonna work on addition that helps us with subtraction, and the goal is to make subtraction easier for you. Okay, so you probably already know number bonds, and these are the parts, and this is the whole, which means the smaller parts become a number together. So this part, is four and this part is three. I bet you know how to write those numbers. So four plus three equals seven. We know that. That's pretty easy, okay? Four plus three makes seven, all right? But it's much harder to do subtraction and a lot of kids are like seven minus something. Oh, that's hard, but it's not hard. You already know four plus three is seven. So this is called a number family, a, a fact family. So if I do seven minus four, if I were to put four up here, then I have three left. So if I take away four, I'll have three left, okay? Or seven minus three equals four. This fact family, makes this really easy. Addition helps me with subtraction. All right, let's do it again. Okay, let's go to the next one. In this one, I see oh, five. And in this one, I see four. So five plus four. Mm, I'm going to write those numbers down, around, and across the top, plus four. Okay, I'm going to start with five and count on five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, five plus four equals nine. So that's going to be my whole nine. Okay, if I take away five, it's going to be four. And if I take away four, it's going to be five. So I start with nine. And which one should we take away? Let's take away five. Nine minus five equals four. Yeah, the addition helps us with subtraction. So we have four and five, just like over here. We have four and five make nine, and four and five make nine. The number bond stays the same. It's whether you're taking away or putting together. Okay, addition helps me with subtraction. Let's do the next one. Okay, how many are in this circle? Six, good. And how many are in this circle? Four, very good. And maybe you know this fact, six plus four makes 10. All right, so that's the hard part is a lot of kids see 10 minus something and they think it's harder, but it's not. You know six plus four makes 10. So if I take away six, how many will it be? That's right, four. Addition helps me with subtraction. We have the part part and we put them together for the whole or we have the whole and we can take it apart uh, to make the parts. All right, flip your paper over and let's do another one. A couple more to practice addition helping us with subtraction. Okay, here. I have four and four. I'm gonna write those down. That's a double. That's so easy, isn't it? But you know what? I've noticed a lot of kids get scared and you don't have to say, I've got this. See, I can do it. I have eight and if I take away four, if I take away four, how many are left? Four. Addition helps me with subtraction. Okay, let's go on to the next one. All right, I know this shape, it's six. It's another double, six plus six. Okay, six plus six makes 12 is the whole, perfect, 12. It's a 10 and two ones, okay? All right, so now I have all 12 together. 
Okay, now I'm gonna use this addition to help me with subtraction. So if I start with 12 and I take away six, how many are left? That's right, six. That was easy, wasn't it? Because when you have the whole together, addition can help you with subtraction. Okay, let's look at this next one too. Ooh, okay, I know these two shapes. This is six plus five. All right, what is six plus five? That's right, 11. Okay, now I'm gonna start with 11 because I'm starting with my whole and I'm gonna take away one of the parts. Let's take away five. Okay, how many are left? That's right, six. Addition helps with subtraction. You did a great job today practicing how addition can help you with subtraction. Make sure you like this video if you're with your teacher and you can subscribe, all right? Tell your teacher, I like that video and she can just subscribe and next time I'll have even more videos for you.